bruised and battered. Cougars back home, hoping to feast on a serving of Cardinal here tonight. Trying to go three and one in the first ever night game at Bishop John M. Darcy Stadium. With a Tyler Steele making the start here tonight from the left side hash mark. Early moments of the ball game. First possession offensively for the Cardinals. And throw left side, that's picked off. And it's going to be a return for a touchdown into the end zone. That's Corey Stamps as they threw it away to him. A return off the interception of some 28 yards. 6 nothing Cougars getting a play from their defensive play secondary. Play. And look at this one, high snap, Greenwood's got it, rugby style kick, that might have been partially blocked, it was, it'll be fielded by USF at the 41 yard line of Concordia. So the Cougars get that very good field position out of this, Click watch that three, and at two, and at one, and they do get the playoff, they'll give it off to Antoine Campbell into the secondary, cuts to the 25 yard line, and brings another tackler with him down to the 20 yard line. Good blast, a hitting play that time by Antoine Campbell, hitting the hole quickly, and a good job by that offensive line art in uh, making it happen. In the red zone, they've got another set of downs to work with. A roll to the left side, here's Miller, throws on the run, there's a catch by Austin Coleman, and gets by one, gets by two, and works down to the 10-yard line. Nifty footwork by the little guy, as Austin Coleman, only 5'8", comes in, that's his 15th catch of the year, and uh, he uh, brings three touchdowns, receiving touchdowns into the game as well. Three wide to the right, two to the left. And here is Steele looking to throw that ball. Knocked down, it comes back to Steele, and he throws late and threw it away. He was going to run maybe for the, for the uh, first down. You can't throw it forward twice on the same play. The duel out wide to the right as well. Miller looking, hands the ball. Here's Campbell, and he works to the right and is into the second Daria once again and he picks up a first down as he brings it inside the Concordia 30-yard line. Good running play that time by Antoine Campbell. On third downs, uh, they're very good. Uh, they were 7-13 uh, against St. Ambrose. But they lost. Here's a screen ball coming. Matthewson, 30-25. Cuts middle of the field, 20. Tell him inside the 15 to the 14-yard line, Kyle Matthewson. And that time, a good job hitting the moving Kyle Matthewson. And indicates first and 10, quick hitting play. And the Cougars running, getting into the end zone. It'll be a touchdown run on the quick hit. And uh, first to score by the offense here tonight as they lead it 13 0. Here comes Miller now, looks to hand off, and Campbell's into the secondary again. Spins, back pedals, and fights his way for a first down Antoine carry okay. to the 45 yard line. And Antoine Campbell doing a great job so far tonight. And, and let's give credit where credit is due. A lot of credit to the Hout, to the oh, offensive line. To reach the 45 now of Concordia. As Miller with Campbell lined up behind him. There was movement at the line of scrimmage. No penalty flag. Rush is coming. Now it, uh, here's Kelsall. He's got the first down 45. Spins to the 40-yard line. And down inside the 40 to the 38. Akeem Kelsall with some nifty footwork. And those yak yards got him the first down. Cardinals drop four into the secondary now as Miller wants to throw again. Looks, throws the home run ball. He's got a man out there. Long target in the touchdown. Right into the bread basket of Austin Coleman. And it'll be 38 yards on the touchdown pass at the 122 mark. Nothing wrong, Art Mandelbaum, with that throw. No, and in fact, on cue, I said we got to see if we could work a downfield pass into our repertoire. We flooded a zone. They were playing cover two. They pull a oh, guy man, across man. the middle, and he turned off uh, from the inside slot, and that pulled the safety away. Trying to change things up against that young offensive line of Concordia so that they have to figure out the blocking scheme. Here's a quick slant throw, and that's a ball that is caught. So a uh, good, uh, quick hitting play that time. DeJour Donaldson on the receiving end. Corners are playing off, dropping back into coverage now as Miller takes a look. Play clock at 20. He's got plenty of time. He wants to change the play, but he does hand it off. And an off-tackle run. And there's Campbell looking for a block. Got it. He's got a first down and brought down across the 30-yard line to the 31-yard line. 13-40 remaining until intermission on this first-ever night game on homecoming. And Miller looks. He'll roll to the right, wants to throw. He's got a man. That's a catch at the 35-yard line and down the right sideline. They've got a good gainer that time as the ball right in the hands of Bretton Williams. In the ball game, he's up in the slot to the left side. Kelsaw's out there as well now on third down and long. They've got a reach inside the 45 of Concordia. Here's a throw short. Kelsaw's got it. Has to run after the catch, and he's got the first down as he's all the way down on the near sidelines. Pushed out of bounds at about the 43. 
Here we go now. It's third down and 10. Cougars trying to get the ball inside the 35. Miller looking, slides to his left, throws. He's got a catch by Coleman. He looks for that first down stick and is out of bounds at the at about the 30-yard line. 13-yard game. You know, Coleman hates to go out of bounds, Joe. The 17-yard line. Clock rolling down close to 10 minutes. Time remaining in the second quarter. Miller, the play clock at 6. With the snap, here's the draw. Hands to Campbell, running room to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He stips, and he cartwheels into the end zone. Well, he stepped around one guy, and then with him, heels into the end zone. A touchdown run of 17 yards, and that will be on the highlight film. So he looked a little bit like a pinball. I mean, he was getting popped here or there, backward, forward, and then got to about the two-yard line and literally did a head over heels, heels over head kind of a flip into the end zone that I haven't seen anything like that before. I mean, that guy, this guy, he can fly, too. He's athletic, obviously. Extra point. Eber attempt is on the way, and it's good. But he was effective through the air against Sienna Heights. 15 of 30 for 122 yards, a touchdown, and one interception. Throws with somebody holding on and does complete for a moment, at least. It is a caught ball by Demario Burton. Another freshman here on the near side, but that one was a lollipop throw. And you got to be thinking as a receiver, oh, please, Lord. He, he did not do DeMario Burden any favors. His two Cougar defenders had plenty of time to fly over there to the ball and knock him down. Play clock at 11 for Josh Miller. As he has been warming up here in the second quarter, hands the ball off. Matheson fights off one tackle, keeps his footing as he stumbles, or puts to a first down across the 40 yard line. And a great run by Kyle Matheson. Twice he had to break tackles. They've got Cam Smith in wide to the right, and between trips receivers is Austin Coleman. Third and 12, still 15 on the play clock for Josh Miller. Taking a long look, and he's got a motion right to left by Kelsaw. He straight dropped, looks, throws a slant. There's a catch by Cam Smith, cuts back to his right, trying to dive for the 15, and he's real close to the first down stick. Miller's pass completion number 84, Cam Smith. As Miller now trying to make a play. Now they drop off in the secondary, back into his zone. As Miller steps up in the pocket, looking, pulls it down, flush to his right, throws on the run. He's got a catch at the one-yard line. Let's see if they got in for a touchdown. And Kelsaw's not going to be given the touchdown. I think he was trying to reach for the pylon. They look where they spot that Holy ball, man. just outside the goal line. Coleman's in up on the wing to the right, motion to the left. They'll reposition Campbell, and they'll give the ball off, and there'll be a touchdown run of one yard. And Andre Turner gets into the end zone from a yard out. He got hammered after he crossed the goal line, but he'll take it because he likes that pay dirt. Time of the score, 237 here on homecoming with 10 on the play clock and has the snap. Gives ground in the pocket, looking flush to his right. Scrambling, throws on the run. He's got a catch, Betcher, and down the sideline. Stepped out of bounds at about the 47, maybe the 46-yard line. Yoder, nice throw on the run, though. Yoder taking the snap again. They're into uh, Concordia territory and a runoff tackle left side. Campbell straight arms one, cuts to the 30, and delivers another blow at about the 28-yard line. He stepped out of bounds right there, but Antoine Campbell, vintage run. Campbell at the left half, and David Yoder's got motion now and pitches the ball to Campbell. Looks for a lead block from Cam Smith, and he'll cut to the right corner and walk into the end zone. Cam Smith, we're talking about block on the corner. He did a really good job, and you know, St. Francis has always required its, its uh, wide receivers to be able to block, and Cam Smith proved that he could do it, and you know who else? Cam Edwards was, was the Cam, and Cam guy. Yeah. Cam Edwards pulled out over there, too, and for a guy this size, 6'4", 317, Cam Edwards moves his feet, and that was just clinical play right there. In the slot to the left side is Brent Newby. As Steele looks in the slot, he's got a catch. That's short of the first down. Uh, depending on the spot, it looks like it'll be about a half a yard, maybe a yard short. Tyler Steele, the qu quarterback, as he throws to the left, he's got a catch, and they're short of the first down. And that ball bounded away. No good. Empty backfield again for Tyler Steele. And play action fake, and he wants to throw the ball to the middle, and he's got a ball that is incomplete. And boy, I tell you what. No, he caught it, Joe. Did he catch it? They, they rule it as a catch down around he's the 10-yard line. Speak for the Dougars, number two, Austin Coleman, number 81, Akeem Pelta. Here comes the kick by Concordia now, and uh, it'll come up to Kelsall, I believe it is, at the 20-yard line. It's got some running room up the middle as it brings across the 30 to the 35. That's Coleman 
Austin Coleman near side, 40-45. Leaps over a tackle in the foot race. He's got a chance inside the 20, inside the 10, the 5, and a touchdown. Austin Coleman, some 90 yards. What did he get? It was about the 9-yard line, I think, Joe. Maybe so. 91, but Austin Coleman, they had several shots at him, and he would not go down. Well, he had his mind made up uh, on that return. Put the light back on that. Short-lived, you know. <laughs> it worked, though, didn't it? It did. It was good luck. It changed, the, it changed the face of the game. It's all at a 91-yard kickoff return for the moment. Still waiting for stats, aren't we? <laughs> They've had some problems with the computer. That's well, a first ever night game. What are you going to do? Ooh, they're shooting off some fireworks here. How about that? You're <laughs> not used to working <laughs> that evening. It's going to strike maybe a little bit. All right. So Emerson Eber comes on, and uh, boy, that, that's just so great to see Austin Coleman doing what he does best. And you're going to need that guy down the stretch here with this uh, tough slate of games coming up on the road. Motion right to left behind the line of scrimmage uh, by the Cardinals. Low snap, but that's picked up, and they'll hand the ball off. And wow, Bailey uh, was going to lose the yard. They started at the 10. They gave him a good spot after that kickoff at the 22, but now they'll lose the yard back at the 21. Marcus Neal in there defensively. At the one defensive tackle, they're still back there on second down and 11. He does on the sweep, handed off to Bailey and tries to cut it up. And, uh, and nowhere to run. Maybe gets back to that yeah, original line of scrimmage. Maybe another half a yard, but uh, it'll, it'll still be third down and very long. Two-yard line blitz coming defensively either side. And boy, there. <laughs> they uh, were coming, and Allen was first. And about three yards into the backfield, he had the initial stop on the ball carrier for Concordia. It'll be fourth down and 13. Big loss. Caleb Mims was the runner, and Allen fought through there, as I mentioned, three-yard loss. David Yoder stays in there at quarterback. He's gone pretty much all the way here in the second half. He got in late in the first half. Hands the ball off. Matthewson off tackle to 50, 45, and a horse collar. <laughs> yes, sir. That's just stupid. You know, somebody's going to get hurt that way. Appling is the defender who ripped Matheson down by the back of the neck only after he was about five yards out of the playing field. So Third down and 26 from the 44 officially. Roll to the left by Yoder. Takes a look, throws the ball, and he's got a catch. That Cam Smith gets away inside the 20 to the 15 to the 10. Finally pushed out of bounds at the seven-yard line. And that's a great job by Cam Smith. And Yoder delivered the ball on target. And a good job of running after the catch by Cam Smith. Same set, same alignment with the goal line offense for Yoder. Yoder looks to hand it off. Matthewson again trying to break it off. And uh, he will take a hit at the goal line, but he crossed the plane of the goal, and it's a oh, touchdown run. Kyle Matthewson, Matthewson officially from two yards out. So he gets into the end zone. And the Cougars got go over the 50 point plateau. I think that's Matthewson's second touchdown, right? No, his first touchdown of the game. Sorry about that. Campbell's got a couple. Motion right to left again behind the line of scrimmage, but here's Steele and trying to screen the ball to Newby, but threw it too high. And good reason for that, because Newby, or I should say Steele, is picking himself up off the bottom of their turf. David Yoder is still out there at quarterback. The uh, 6'3 junior looks to throw the ball, and he completes right side. And a nice run by Aaron Knight, and he picks up a first down. Again, he kind of straight arm and leaped over a guy in the same motion across the 35 and brings it out to the 41. And same formation, motion by Williams. They'll give it up the middle, and I don't know if they've got it. Well, Yoder thinks they do, and they do. Have a one-yard touchdown run up the middle. Second touchdown of the game. Officially a one-yard run here at the 1246 mark and more pyrotechnics. Talking about, but I like the fireworks. <laughs> that too, huh? <laughs> Joe, last year the Cougars won 69 to nothing. We just put our 62nd points on the board. Steele looks low snap, hands the ball off, and nice move to the outside, but tripping up. And tell you what, good play defensively by St. Francis. Was that Devon Ru Devin Rush? Got in a tough uh, yardage situation. Here's a deep handoff. Pierce trying to run and turn the corner. Gets across the 15 and 
Boy, a good job as he uh, legged it out there, turning the corner. Pierce, though, uh, has done a good job here tonight in the relief role. Hunsucker wants to throw, looks near side screens, gets a catch at the 35, run up the middle, 40, 45, 50, inside the 40, 30, 25, 20, and a foot race into the end zone and a touchdown. Or does he out of bounds? They're going to rule him out of bounds short. <laughs> short of the end zone. And that was, uh, is that Ray Beverly? A 66-yard run, 85. Up on the wing to the right side is Brenton Williams. Pierce is getting it. Pierce uh, at left half. Hunsecker looking, hands it off. You got it right. Pierce looking for the goal line. Still pushing, and he's in. So from two yards out, Denzel Pierce into the end zone at the 20 mark. The Cougars are adding up the points here tonight. You know, Ray Beverly just said, congratulations, you've got my touchdown. <laughs> so the unknown quarterback for Concordia, low snap, picks it up, option run to the left, and he's met and dropped as Ethan Chappell uh, cut off the pass. Heard? Heard? Got a report. A team that is technically really good with PATs, it's not, you should be 10 for 10. And uh, here's a run, quarterback uh, draw, to fake the handoff, and Cougars uh, shot a defender through there, and he went right for the running back, nailed him, and that allowed the quarterback to kind of, well, he's still going to lose another yard, so it'll be third down at about 13. Two protectors in for the quarterback now on third down and long, misdirection, he wants to throw, he does complete it, but that's Demario Burton, but he's well back and caught it at about the 40-yard line and turned up field, maybe gets to the 45-yard line and didn't try to manage the clock. Play clock is down to eight. And waiting for the snap and uh, moves up a step closer. He wants to throw, looks to the left, throws low. He's got a catch, and that's Knight, and he's got a first down. Boy, nice uh, trajectory on that ball. Wes Hunsecker, Kim Downey was talking to me before the ball game, and says the kid's got all the attributes and uh, just needs to put it all together. 70 to 14 here with just about four minutes remaining in this ball game. One sucker again will go back uh, to managing the clock and uh, the play clock is at four. And uh, here comes the 10 o'clock through about two minutes early. <laughs> Little run by Pierce, turns the corner, 40-45. And he's to the 40, to the 35, cuts in the middle of the field, weaves his way back to the right, inside the 15 and all the way down close to the 10 yard line. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's night is it. I said that was uh, Pierce. So Andre Turner with that one yard touchdown run. Emerson Ebron with the extra point. Eber was busy earlier, and he'll be busy again. Coach, this is a real special pleasure to be able to talk to the winningest all-time uh, coach in the history of NAI competitions. Thank you, Judge. A lot, a lot of things you wanted to accomplish in this football game after the two weeks off. Talk about how what you saw out of your offense tonight and what you were trying to develop. Well, the main thing is we wanted to play hard. We wanted to play a full 60 minutes uh, hard. We, I think we did that. Um, we got everybody in and was... Uh, on the, the uh, eligibility list, so it was a good thing. Seem to split the play, the snaps between your two quarterbacks. Uh, what's what's in the uh, thinking process there? Well, you know, we were uh, concerned about getting play as sharp as we like. The Yoder in there right before that was real quick. Uh, but we want to come back to the Yoder and get him an opportunity to make some decisions and so forth as well. And then... Uh, you know, we, we tried to keep the ball on the ground and get the game over with. And, um, you know, uh, little Pierce kid just took off. <laughs> he's so, he's going to be yeah, so special. Yeah, he is. Really is. Coach, there's a bunch of people that want to talk to you over here right now. They're waiting for you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Tonight, head coach Kevin Donnelly became the all-time winningest coach in the history of the NAIA. So we've had a little bit of everything here tonight. Quite a scene down here, guys. Uh, Kevin Donnelly with a very well-deserved uh, 
amazing honor to him, the uh, most winningest coach in the history of NAIA football, and it's a celebration in uh, Kevin Donnelly Stadium tonight. Yo, I'm standing here, Austin Coleman, Antoine Campbell, two offensive stars for the St. Francis Cougars. We got Twan, Mr. Uh, Grasshopper Legs over here, jumping over everybody. Talk up, talk up. I want to talk about that run when your little, your little leap of faith you did into the end zone. I mean, it was a draw. I just read my keys, and the jumping thing, it just happens. It's not something I think about, so it just happens. It's not me. I'm sorry about it. That's becoming your little signature move now, you know, jumping in the air and whatnot. But we got Austin Coleman, number two. You are number two, right? Yeah, all American, superstar over here. So, all, you know, we all know how he did this week. We're going to see the highlights. I want to talk about next week because, you know, it's a big game. You know, it's for all of us as seniors. This will be, could be one of the last times, you know, you get to face them in the regular season. Talk about, just talk about some preparation and what you're willing to do. You know, you are a leader on this team. How you willing, willing to lead your team to this victory trying to get next week? Well, first, you know, coming out tomorrow, going all, all, all hard in the weight room, you know what I'm saying? Uh, making sure every every week we have practice, make sure every rep counts, go hard every rep, make sure we're doing the small things first. And that's what is going to lead to the victory uh, next Saturday. Small things make the biggest changes. There you had it. Austin Coleman, Antoine, I'm going to call you Galloway, Campbell, and uh, we'll see you next week.